Greg, good morning today. Looking forward to that. It's a strong team we got. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, it's my pleasure to introduce Lieutenant General Charles Bouchard of the Canadian Forces Commander, Joint Task Force Commander for NATO's Libya Response Operations, codenamed Operation Unified Protector. General Bouchard is the commander of NATO and non-NATO assigned OUP forces. NATO's operations in Libya, which currently include enforcing the UN-mandated arms embargo and no-fly zone. And with that, I'd like to turn off the podium to General Bouchard for a few remarks. Sir. Well, thank you all very much for coming here today. I also want to thank Brussels again for connecting us in their news conference. Good afternoon, Brussels. Let me kick this off by saying that NATO is now exercising the full spectrum of maritime and air operations. On Thursday morning, this morning, at 0600 hours, Greenwich Mean Time, NATO took the sole command of international air operations over Libya. The islands, the alliance has powerful assets in place to conduct its tasks on their operation Unified Protector, the arms embargo, the no-fly zone, and the actions to help protect civilians in civilian centers. In line with the mandate of UNSCR 1973, NATO's focus is on protecting civilians in civilian populated areas against the threat of attack from Libyan forces. I'm pleased to report that the handover, the transition with coalition forces has been seamless with no gap in the effort. In fact, I'll go as far as to say that these are historic days. The speed and agility with which NATO has acted is the future of NATO. We are making history. Early this morning, NATO Command and Control issued its first order to fighter and support aircraft for Operation Unified Protector, enforcing the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1973. NATO aircraft are covering these military activities. That means NATO has started surveillance and reconnaissance activities in the no-fly zone and this has taken place with coalition operations coordination. The complete transition of units to NATO authority is a national decision for individual countries. These transfers are completed. NATO is fully responsible for the military effort. We have more than 100 fighters and support aircraft and more than a dozen maritime assets from several different nations under my NATO command. To be clear, as of today, NATO is responsible for Operation Unified Protector. So far, NATO, having already conducted more than 90 flights and sorties since early this morning. We already have more than 12 frigates patrolling in the Med with several others, support ships and helicopters. Armed boarding teams on these ships are now ready to act if necessary. This is a clear demonstration of our allies' commitment to fulfill their obligation under the United Nations mandate and to show their resolve to help protect the people of Libya. That means NATO ships, submarines, and aircraft are fully enforcing now the UN Resolution 1973. We are cooperating with our partners in the region and internationally and welcome their contribution to this important mission. 